Hi, I'm Debbie Reynolds. What's up, Orange County? Hmm. We are. I am going to introduce, I think, the biggest star in the world. Are you ready? Are you ready? This is <laughs> Debbie Reynolds. How are you, Debbie? Great, dear. How are you today? I'm doing good. So, what is the magic? What's the trick that keeps you so young and beautiful? Being happy, loving your job. You know, I love to entertain, so when you're happy doing that, why, that of course makes me happy. In other words, I'm not doing something that I don't like in life, you know, because at my time in life, you should be able to be peaceful and do what you want to do. Right. And you must love it because I heard you are on the road 42 weeks a year. That's right. We travel 42 weeks a year because, you know, it's a vaudeville. It's a nightclubs and theaters everywhere, d civic houses. I know that you're going to be in Orange County on the 22nd of January at the Coach House performing. Mm -hmm. And everybody, you can get your tickets at www.thecoachhouse.com. So what are we going to see in the show? Well, I've been able to do everything. I'm going to sing and dance and uh, do impressions. I, I mean, I'll do uh, Catherine Hepburn, of course. I do. Vo I like to do voices, you know. So I do Mae West and Barbara Streisand. I mean, it depends on how, what you want to feel of Barbara. So a little New York-like, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I uh, do... Uh, Oh, Marlene Dietrich, you know, falling in love again. Anyway, I do a lot of comedy, and I do a lot of wonderful vocals, Gershwin songs, Stephen Sondheim. I do a tribute to Judy Garland, singing all her songs, you know, that she made really popular in all the movies. She was one of my favorites. So now you've done it all, movies, television, stage. Mm -hmm. Do you have a preference? Is there one that's your favorite? Well, I love them all, anything that's performing, but I like live theater the best because the people are there and you get to feel them and you feel the reception, whether they like you or don't like you, you, you find out right away real fast. And I played the Coach House last year, as a matter of fact, and I had a great time. People were great, we had a big crowd. In fact, they held me over the second day because they couldn't get everybody in the joint. Sorry. Looking back on your career, what would be your most memorable moment and why? Well, I think probably one of them was uh, putting my fingerprints in Grandma's Chinese Theater. That was a big honor, you know, for me to be able to be there with Mary Pickford and all the great older stars, which I love, you know, because I watch old movies all the time. I hear the cottonwoods whispering above Tammy, Tammy, Tammy's in love Wish I knew, if he knew What I'm dreaming of Tammy, Tammy, Tammy you have a favorite kind, like a comedy, drama? Are you into musicals? Well, I love everything Fred Astaire ever did and Ginger Rogers. Well, all the musicals. I love the musicals. Ann Miller was a dear friend of mine, so I love that. You're too darn hot. Woo! I like that one. I do, too. So, anything that's uh, in the way of music, I love music. Now, you did the USO shows, didn't you? Yes, I went to Korea four times during the war. And uh, all during the whole war, which was five years, I entertained at all the Air Force bases, you know. It takes uh, brave people, men and women, to protect a country, and we have the best. And they're out there trying to do the right thing to protect us at home. And we don't really realize how fortunate we are to live in such a great country that we do until we travel outside of it and we see what goes on in the world. So we have a great country, we are fighting for it, and even though to some it may seem like a lost cause, 
we're still going to hang in there and try to do the right thing. And that's what we're trying to do now. And let's hope we all wind up in a peaceful situation. Is there anything you'd like to do that you have not done yet that you can just think of? You want to do well, another TV say, show? You have the Debbie <laughs> Reynolds show. Would you like to have your own TV show again? But that's a lot of work. But you're already working 42 weeks a year. Well, so. I was on Will and Grace for five years, something like that. I enjoy TV. Uh, would I like to do a series? It's a dedication. You have to be there every day. If I could find like a talk show or something that would be fun, maybe Carrie and I should do a talk show together. That would be fun. I like Carrie, but I was thinking maybe Scott, Debbie, and Carrie. <laughs> what are you thinking about All that? Right. I can sing. You ready? I'll it's sing a, on a It's boom, a date, for, and I uh, hear you clog. Uh, I'm a you knew I clogged. She knows, and she clogged. She had a, a Western segment in your shows. That's right. So some other. I know your show is going to be. I cannot wait for the twenty second to see the show. Uh, we, when we found out that you were going to be on the show, we sent out to our viewers to send us a few questions. Okay. For Miss Reynolds. All right. Are you ready? Uh huh. Okay. This one it says trivia question for Miss Debbie Reynolds. I will sing a couple lines from a TV show you were on, and we want to see if you can name the show. Okay. Okay. Uh, love exciting and new, climb aboard, we're expecting you. Love is a simple thing. Love, love boat. Yes, you guessed it right. I guessed it. I get, what do I get? Yes, you get a, a sucker, lovely, a I love you, Debbie, award <laughs> from Scott. A kiss on the cheek. Woo, I wish. So, do you have a favorite movie or film that you've ever done? That I've been in? Yes, that you did. Uh, well, I thought The Unsinkable Molly Brown was my best role, but uh, of course, uh, Singing in the Rain was the most popular one amongst most all the people because the dance numbers were so brilliant. And then Tammy was very successful because of the song. Yes. So I've been lucky. Well, How the West was one. I loved making that. There were a lot of good movies. Of good I've made ones. about 60. And you live close to your daughter, right? Here? Here? I live and right in her front yard. Oh, so that's nice. Well, I feel that uh, the way you can get your children to talk to you all the time is right. if you if you have the same driveway, common driveway, and then uh, you get you run out in the morning when they're when they're leaving and they're in their car, and you lie down in the driveway. They have to run over you or say hello. We got another question <laughs> from a viewer. Ready? Mm -hmm. You have co-starred with wonderful leading men. Who was the best kisser? <laughs> That's what it says, Debbie. Who was the best kisser? I would say Frank Sinatra. Oh, he's not even on Frank Sinatra. I would say uh, Dick Van Dyke. He was very cute. I would say Jack Lemmon, but that was on a date. Oh, it was on a date, Jack Wasn't Lemmon. a movie. No. So, shh, shh, secret. Hey, what's up's getting the scoop? Date. So, is there anything you can tell us about yourself that we might not know out there? Are you open book? Well, uh, I think my life has been an open book. You know, I've never been one to keep secrets, and my life has always been in the newspapers and everything. I have a little dance school here. Some people might not know that right here at North Hollywood. Yes. And we teach young people how to dance and how to have a good time in their lives. And I probably will teach there in about a couple of years, you know. It all depends how it goes. Um, having a big auction of all my memorabilia in May, and that's uh, devastating to me, but wonderful for the public because they get a chance to have some of my memorabilia. Memorabilia. So everything is very exciting right now. I'm really busy with that. Do you see yourself writing another book? I do. I will be writing another book because my last book, I was happily married at the end of it, and of course that's bull. So <laughs> it's I have bull? to write a new one. So we can know a new bull. ending. It's been a dream come true for me. Everybody, you've got to come out to see Debbie Reynolds. She's here, yeah. going to be in Orange County on January 22nd, Saturday, at the Coach House. And I'm telling you, Tickets are going to sell fast. we got to go to www.thecoachhouse.com. It's going to be an incredible show. Coach House. Coach House. Coach House. This has been a Singing thrill. and dancing. Can we sing dancing, together? Dancing, let's sing it off. I was going to ask if I could do a little dance number with you, but maybe let's just like, ah, uh, sing it off to a, <laughs> what's up with my favorite. What's up in Orange County? We are, baby. We are. We, we are, are. We are, are baby. Woo. You're fine. <laughs> Daddy Reynolds. I love you.